How's it going? Not very many out there this year. So this is the ear. Are you taking your stick to work? Give it here. Okay, and I don't want to play either. Let's go. Ow, Ryder. Come on, dude. Ah, <sighs> it's so nice outside today. This is my favorite kind of weather. Fall is officially here, and I fed you. Did you not come in? Okay, look. We have to take the cat back because we can't take the kitty down to the shop. <sighs> you missed breakfast. Your brothers are inside the garage. These kitties are going to be the death of me. <sighs> Hold on. So Jason, we've talked about it, that um, I think we're just gonna end up shelling it and then rolling the corn stalks just like what we're gonna do at Brian's. I think that's the kind of tentative plan. I don't know if we're going to be making wet corn and bagging it, or if we'll wait a little bit longer and see what it does dry wise. But there's some really decent corn ears on it. Okay, it's just an FBN conventional corn. Um, it's a little bit buggy, yes. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, it's just FBN conventional corn. It didn't get sprayed, nothing, because we really didn't think it was gonna do anything. But, yeah. Totally just trusting God. And, you know, we, we cut a bunch of those quote unquote bad corn um, from our neighbors down the road. We put up a thousand tons of corn silage. And honestly, that corn silage, um, there's not a whole lot of corn in it, but the forage side of it was a high protein. I can't remember what he said, 10, 12%. It's better than some of the alfalfa that sometimes we produce. So it's good stuff for the calves, that's for sure. And we've already started feeding it to the these wean calves at home which was the whole reason we did so much of it. The cows are still on grass and they will be probably, we would like to stretch it out till January, but I'm thinking without rain, we will probably be going ahead and starting feeding them here in the next couple weeks. Sounds like Jason's already mixing feed. Uh, Carol needed chicken feed this morning, so sounds like the mixer's already going. Maybe just a few minutes late. I was trying to upload my video. I was trying. Good morning, babies. Have some alfalfa there, dear, dearie. Just going for our morning walk. She just wants to go too. Stay, Roxy. Roxy, stay. Watch her feet. 
<laughs> Buddy, you're redheaded male, so don't start with me. All right, I'll bring you some lunch. Go, boo boo. Go. Get in. All right. Call me if you need something. So I just dropped Jason and Ryder off at the tractor. They're going to start rolling corn stalks. I am running to um, Bowling Green. I got some errands I need to do. And I need to pick up some lunch for Jason and bring back. I did bring the drone and the camera, so we will get some shots. I think by then, hopefully, Jason will be back at the shop where Brian's combining. So hopefully I catch some fun stuff. We are running um, Brian's equipment, so it's his tractor, his baler. So for any of you guys um, that have not been with us long enough to know, uh, we help surrounding neighbors when we get done with our own stuff. Because we, you know, we don't have anything else to do, right? Um, no, but uh, Brian and us kind of work hand in hand. You guys will see him probably come and shell our corn there at the house and we'll do the same thing and roll corn stalks in. So we use his McHale, I think it's a V8. Um, we used it last year. He actually bought it, I think it was 2020. That first year uh, I was on YouTube, um, I learned how to wrap um, bales with a wrapper with it. Um, so you guys can go back and see some different videos with Brian and Spencer Creek Farms. They also have a cute little store in Farber, Missouri. Um, they sell their home-raised beef, they sell pork, but they also have a lot of little trinkets and knickknack stuff. It is so cute. Um, and the kids have their eggs up there. So cute little store. You can follow them. I'll link all that stuff below. Check them out. Um, but yeah, I am just doing some errand running this morning. That's the plan. And then I'll go back. I don't know if I'll have to move bales. Sometimes Brian has me run the skid loader and like stack them and group them. And I think his trailer holds 11 um, on his um, hay trailer. Or usually we bring in the semis and just load semis full. So we'll see how it goes. I know that they talked about getting like 600 rolls. So, yep, that's where it's at. Thanks for tagging along. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and comment below. I know I kind of took a little hiatus last week on videoing. I just, I just needed a break. I just, and I was run down and I was deep cleaning our house and just getting things ready for um, the kids' fall bash birthday that we had over the weekend. So a lot of moving parts. So yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's horse riding and cow stuff and you know, selling and delivering hay and fencing and just, you know, odds and ends of stuff that just goes hand in hand with farming in the quote unquote off season, I guess, until we start fall, or well, fall calving, until we start winter calving, really, in the January. Ooh, hi! Mm -hmm. How are you? Oh, did you want out?
more than one bale to the acre now, I think. Well, I finally figured out that if you go the opposite way that he combined it, like, see that? Yeah. That way he went that way. So if you go this way, he went he went that way, but if you bale it against it... Just like I do in straw. You pick up more. Like you do in I'm straw. I'm getting more bales. Yeah. How do you feel about the McHale? I like it, as long as it net wrap don't give me a hit. <laughs> Are you having some struggles with the net wrap? Well, I don't know what these codes mean on this monitor, <laughs> so I had to look up the manual on Google and know what codes I'm looking at. I see. Now you know how I feel when you just say jump in and go. Yeah. It's a little hard when you got a bail in there and it won't wrap. Then I spent all that time down there. It wouldn't wrap the bale, wouldn't wrap the bale. Guess what? It was already wrapped, and the door just has to reset the knife. <laughs> so you got a bale that's like. I was pushing buttons in here like no one. <laughs> I see. Oh. Is this one just like yours? This is an R. And ours is an M. But it's a 145 is what I mean. Yeah. His just has the loader on it. Ours is just loader ready. So how long does it take to like wrap itself? I'm not sure. I haven't never counted. It depends what type of stuff you're bailing to. Like corn stalks you have to have the most wraps, like the condo kind of blowout. Yeah. So, I was gonna say, I know we kind of cropped or mailing. I know we wrapped what wrapped that corn, the down corn, and we always had to wrap it a lot because the corn cobs would push through, the stalks would push through. What matters the most is feeding, making you starting the roll, and then after you wrap, uh, how fast you can kill you one day. I see. There's too many things for me to remember. I do like the large square because you don't have to stop. Like you can just keep on on your windrow. When you uh, do rolls, you kind of got to stop and uh, let it do its thing so it'll poop out. Boo! Are you tired, boy? Going. So we're gonna go catch some combine footage. I never get to catch any of it because usually I'm helping on the other end, but um, I get to fly today. I can't guarantee you how well my flying's gonna go. Man, that sun is like right, right there, guys. Sorry. Hold on, just a second. I'll get you across the road here. Jason's in one field and Brian's in the other, so they weren't side by side. I missed that part. But. And then we have our last football game, so I'll probably dart out of here and we'll go to that. And then I guess basketball starts tomorrow. So. And Keaton turns 13 tomorrow. Like, I just am having a hard time. Like, it's finally hit mom that I'm a teenager, preteen, whatever. So this is the ear from our house. Uh, this is one Jason picked the other day. It's already starting to dent. It's, it's got a nice cob on it. Actually, like, like this is the other part of it. Very nice. We won't show you what the rest of everybody else's looks like. Let's see if I can get it connected. There she goes. Do 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 do. Aircraft connected. There we go.